Hey guys, um, I haven't made a YouTube video in a little while, sorry about that, I was really busy, um, but I basically redesigned this whole tank, I have uh, two warm signs, this one is a lot warmer because it has a day and night bulb, this is the day one, I just use a 60 watt bulb because I have this metal just lamp and I use that, and then at night, I use this guy, it's about three bucks, switched out, night, 50 watts, keeps it warm again. Um, yeah, so that's that part. Um, my lizard shed its skin, its tail. You guys probably didn't know, but I got a lizard. Um, he is right there. There he is. You guys can see. He's in a knoll. He was four dollars. Because I had like these peckle things. But oh well. But he was $4 and I put him in this tank as well. Be and some people said, you know, don't do that because they're not supposed to go together. Well, they can go together because they need all the same requirements. It's about almost 80 degrees in here. And my humidity is about 60. Which actually, now's a good time to display my... How my humidifier works is I take this off the top. There, there's a hole. Put my tool right there. And I turn it up all the way. And that's a good way to display my humidifier. But right now, that is going to humidify the whole air. So that works out really good. Humidifies everything nicely. I don't have to worry about misting it, although I do like misting those plants. Um, I do have another tank right right there. It's a five gallon five point five gallon, which I kept him in. Then I just put him in here. Figured, well yeah, you know, it's basically the same as long as I keep his crickets in here. Which he has found a lot of them. I get him about 10 small crickets a week. That's all he needs. I sometimes will get him 15. Depending. I have that small tank. And if you guys are going to get one of these pets. These chips. Right here. Um, it's called. Reptile Bark. I find it works good for decoration. Not for the whole thing. Um, but. Yeah, so all my hermit crabs are doing good. I have six of them. They're all doing great. Um, my reptile fogger. I've been using this every single day, and I've had no problems with it. I think it's a great investment. $60. A lot of time, if you buy something higher than $5, maybe about it's a $10 thing, you get a $2 off receipt at Petco. Look at the receipt. You just call them, take the little survey. It's about... I'd say two minutes. Take the survey, you get two dollars off. And that usually saves on the tax on most of the items. I actually got a two hundred dollar gift card uh, for Petco because I took the survey and they said since you've done this many surveys, I get a certain thing. Turned it in, I got two dollar two hundred dollars off. Got a new substrate, got that tank, reptile bark, that little tank I've always had. Um yeah. So, um, I don't know what kind of pet I'm going to put in there. Maybe just, you know, I, I have no clue. I'll find a pet to put in there eventually. Oh, God. He's like, he's just like, what the hell's happening? He's looking just a couple steps out. There he is. Oh, he's really fun to handle. Um, he's like brown. Um, he changes colors a lot of times when he goes on the leaves. He'll be green on the leaves, brown on the bark. I think it's just to blend in a little bit, but it's a nice toasty 80 degrees in there. 60% uh, humidity, which that's going to change very fast as soon as this all goes through. But if you have any questions or comments or videos I would just you guys would just like me to do either on my... Um, oh my gosh, I forgot what it was called. Oh my gosh. Um, whew. a knoll. He's a 
Bahamin Anol. That guy, but I think he's also a green Anol because I, I don't know, but he just turns green, so who knows? Who cares, really? But, um, any questions, comments, um, things you'd like me to talk about? I'd be happy to. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a little while. Please comment and rate.